In this screencast I'll show you how to select the thermodynamic method that will be used to model and calculate the answer for different situations in the process simulation. So in order to do this you need to come up to the toolbar up here and click on the icon that looks a little bit like the vapor liquid equilibrium diagram for water ethanol with the azeotrope at the top. This is referred to as the thermodynamic data and if you click on here it will bring up a window with some different menus. So you can click on most commonly used and there's things like the Peng Robinson method. This isn't actually the most appropriate one for water methanol which we're using in this example. So if we go over to all primary methods and click on alcohol we can add that one. Now it asks us whether we want single liquid phase only or whether we want two liquid phase calculations and it will be fine for us to use single liquid phase for this situation so we click OK. And we can dig into this a little bit deeper if we click modify and it brings up this window which goes through the different methods that are used for different situations. For example what's been used for equilibrium values for the vapor liquid equilibrium liquid liquid equilibrium, solid liquid equilibrium, how are we getting the liquid enthalpies, the vapor enthalpies, liquid densities and so on and so forth and in fact if we wish to we could go into these drop down menus and select something different if we felt it was appropriate. So we can click OK on there and we'll use this alcohol method here and click OK. So we can see that the thermodynamic data icon has now gone from having a red border to a blue border. So it's gone from needing user input to having that information specified. And that aspect of the model is now happy and will not cause us a problem when we come to run the simulation. And overall, that is how you select the thermodynamic method for the simulation.